welcome back to DuckTales Remastered! And last time, uh, we went through the African... Well, not, uh, no, 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 he, he, the Himalaya... Uh, I, I can't pronounce that right now, but... Yeah, we just got that... Whatever it is, but... Anyways, we're gonna... Yeah, from the... The front, the suddenly, uh, actually friendly, uh... Yeti. The she Yeti. So, we're actually gonna... Well, it was thanks to uh, Web, uh, Webby that... That she's able to communicate with her, so... Alright then, let's go. Yeah, sorry if I spoiled that, I mean, I don't know. Alright, let's go to the moon! Uh, hey? I, uh, this one. There we go. There we go, let's go to the moon! It's a long way to the moon, lads. But the green cheese of longevity will make it worth the trip. Hop, hop, and away! <laughs> Mr. McDuck, mm. I've never been to the moon before. <clears throat> well, when it comes to space cadets, Fenton, you're a natural. <laughs> now, Gyro, why in blazes are we chewing this awful blue muck? <laughs> why, that's Oxy Chew, Mr. McDuck. It's my latest invention, oxygen flavored taffy. Five good chews, and you can breathe on the lunar surface without a spacesuit. Oh, and it tastes great, too. That gyro is a matter of opinion. <laughs> now, which way to the green cheese? What do you mean? Isn't it all around us? Yeah? How do you figure? Everybody knows the whole moon's made of green cheese. Well, that's what my dear mama said. And it could take a feather brain like you to believe her. Ugh, sometimes I don't know what I'm gonna... Wait, what's that? Look, here's someone who could give us directions. Hello? Ah, Mr. McDuck! Help! Oh no! We've got to save him! Do we really? We do if you want to find that treasure of yours, Mr. McDuck. Fenton was carrying the Gizmo Duck suit. That's the only thing we've got powerful enough to break into the moon vault. All right, fine. Stay here and guard the supplies while I look for that bumbling bookkeeper. All right, now we're in space. Yeah. Well, yeah, we're in space, and yeah, it was. Ouch! I was gonna say how, how are we breathing in space, but I was gonna say how how the we were breathing in space, but but actually, uh. I mean, uh, Jairo just gave us some weird gum, chewed gum that uh, makes us breathe in space, so... Yeah, I don't know why is that a thing, but... Alright, let's keep on going. We got those weird, uh... Boy, that looks like the same spaceship that took off with Fenton. Well, <laughs> I guess this means I'm invited on board. Alright, so, oh my gosh, so we got those uh, Robocop looking ducks. Robocop duck, uh, cop ducks. I haven't seen Robocop the movie, so I have no opinion on it, so. Alright then. Yeah, let's keep on going. Oh my gosh, he's, he's going so fast. We got so many weird aliens. Ah, come on, just get over there. There we go, keep going. Alright, yeah, we're definitely on the moon. All right, we're gonna look around, guys. I, yeah, I need to be on the ship first, cause because we do have to get that one, go, go rescue a uh, Fenton. Uh, I, I, I forgot that duck's name again. I. Uh, all right, now let's keep on going, keep on going, and not get hit by the weird electric spikes. And I got hit. Fantastic. Okay, we can't climb up there, and I don't think I want to climb up there. And they respawn. Fantastic. All right, now let's keep going. So I'm actually gonna go up. All right, let's go up. Upward, upward, where we go. Hmm, are there any secrets I could find? I don't think there's anything I could find. Well, besides these ones, but... Oh, whoa, whoa. Okay, there's a barrier for whatever reason. Whoa! Blast me bagpipes. A piece of gizmo duck suit. Oh, if only I had a way to open this door. All right, let's go.
No we'll see. Hmm, anything secret? Any secrets? I don't remember any secrets. They did present they they did feature most of these. Oh my gosh, are those rats? What that weeb? He's right over there! Oh Alright, I'll save you. Fenton, get down from there and stop embarrassing yourself. Mr. McDuck! Thank goodness you're here! I think those aliens wanted to suck out my brain and make an army of Fenton clones! Bah, they'd soon learn that one of you is one too many. Now, help me find a security override so we can get to your gizmo duck suit. You mean this? Security system disengaged. Fenton, you're a genius! Gee, Mr. McDuck, do you mean it? Uh, hey? Warning. Damage report. Artificial gravity system is offline. Fenton, you're a nincompoop. You broke the gravity controls. Not to worry. I'll have it fixed in a jiffy. I got a level 3 certificate of technology from Happy Ducky University, you know. Oh, no you don't. You'll probably slam into the self-destruct button, too. I'll get us out of this. System restored. All systems normal. Nice work, Mr. McDuck. Now, let's go get my Gizmo Duck suit. Not so fast, Dunderhead. You go wait with Gyro. I'll find a Gizmo Duck suit myself. Alright, sorry I was so quiet for a second. So you had to actually go hit these things. Yeah, we were floating and swimming for a bit. I wish we could swim like that forever, but eh. That's the way it is, but yeah, you just hit all these and really quickly. You get you can hear that time ticking thing. So yeah, that's what happened. Or uh, or I don't know if I actually uh, muted it. I I think I accidentally um okay. I think what I'm gonna do is right there and let's see. I do want to go back. Uh, I can come back here. Don't worry. We do need to get out anyway. So okay, I'm gonna go left. Go left. Gosh dang it. In the original DuckTales game, those RoboCup, uh, those, 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 those robot ducks, they get stuck right there and that's annoying, but it's not like that in the, in the remakes, so, yeah, they get, get stuck it right there and it's so annoying, but it's not like that, so. Oh, come on. I was just trying to get rid of this weird squid-like aliens. I don't, I don't even know what aliens look like I in real life. I mean, I mean, are they fictional? Are they real? I don't know. Do I believe in aliens? Maybe. There could be a. There could be a. There could be someone beautiful like uh, uh, Lum. From a certain classic anime that got rebooted. So. All right now let's see. Yeah I mean yeah. All right now. Now let's go. Hmm. Let's see. Let's go. Alright, we're climbing up. Is there anything down there? And this guy respawned. Hmm. Hmm, there's nothing down here. Hmm. Oh! Might as well. Mm, don't mind having a lot of money. Don't mind. Alright, let's keep going, guys. Hmm. Ah, weeb. Alright, I don't know why there's rocks in there. I guess, ali I guess those aliens. Looks like I found Gizmo Duck's armored suit. It's a good thing Gyro rigged up this hyperspace pocket for me to carry things around in. No, only two more parts to find, and we can break into that moon vault. So, I mean, I guess those aliens just collect them, I guess. I don't know. But I'm just breaking their, I think they're so-called valuables in Weep, so. Okay, uh, I want to do right there. That would be, that would be crazy if Mrs. Beakley came by. If I encounter her, like, how the weave you get all the way from Earth to Moon? And also, yeah, I mean, yeah, I'm like, how the weave do you get through there? Like, I don't get it. Wait, I mean, you can't, you, you I, don't, I don't know, that's like, that's, I mean, that would be impossible. That would actually be impossible. I mean, you do need a rocket to actually get to the moon, obviously, you know, and, and then, yeah. I mean, I mean, 
I know there are people who actually won't, I mean, I mean, I'm sure people took pictures of it and... Yeah. I mean, I don't have interest going to the moon, being asked, I mean, I have to learn astronomy and stuff. And how to run a spacesuit and stuff, and... Well, I mean, of course, I mean, we got the company NASA and Weeb, so... You know what I'm saying. I mean, I did learn that in school. Learning about the space. Okay, what I want to do is go right there. Yeah. Yeah, there's a secret. <laughs> All right. <laughs> Let's keep going. Yeah, I did learn some stuff. Uh, there's an anime called Asteroids in Love, which is a great anime. I know, I know, it's kind of weird to talk about anime in a video game based on the, one of my favorite kids' cartoons, but yeah. Okay, we, okay, we can go up there, but I want to actually go back down. I'm gonna hit this one. Okay, I'm gonna go right there. Keep going. Anything down there? Okay, I wanna actually uh, hit this first. Hmm, anything up there? Ah, screw it. Oh, you could actually just get up there. I don't know. Oh, come on. Really? Okay, okay. Alright, let's go, let's go. Let's actually go up. Yeah. Yeah, I mean, Asteroids in Love is a great anime. I mean, it's about learning about astronomy and stuff. I learned a lot. I learned some stuff from the anime. It's a good one. Super underrated. Yeah. And also, Mira and Al is are, are adorable. The two... M Mira and Al are adorable. Now, let's see. I... Let's see. Hmm, where should I go? Uh, let's go up there. A secret? Well... How the I I was speaking of Mrs. Beakley. How the Weepshi? Why are you here, Mrs. Beakley? I wanted to see what the vacuum of space would do to my pie crust, Mr. McDuck. I don't know how the Weepshi got up there. Your weight in gold, Mrs. Beakley. Uh, if you'll pardon the expression. Huh. Of course. But I'll find my own way out. Thank you very much. Okay. Yeah, I don't even know. Maybe, and ha I think she accidentally sold some of that chewy gummy from Gyro, just to just to travel in space, just to breathe in space. I guess I don't know. Yeah, I mean, I know I shouldn't talk to logic like that, even though it's just a cartoon-like game. So yeah, I mean, uh, go watch a Asteroid is Love. It's a great one. It's a great one. Super underrated. It's a great one. If you're looking for something cutesy, something like really like, yeah. It's, uh, you, you, you can look up yourself if you're into anime. Now let's see. Alrighty, we're in s I don't watch many space stuff. I mean, I'm not really a sci-fi guy, but more like a fantasy, but... No, no, no! Ah! Okay, we got the... Okay, the last one's all the way at the bottom. Oh, duck's wheel! I've always wondered what Gyro was thinking when he designed this thing. Who fights crime with a unicycle? A unicycle. Now, just one more path to find and I can get off this flying monstrosity. Alright, we're going back. And those alien floating squid-like aliens are back. And no. Uh, and I say... It, it's kind of funny that... Uh, there's one anime called Squid Girl. I know I'm a teen another anime, but... Yeah, the, one of the characters, uh, uh... Cindy Campbell. Who came from the uh, U U.S. Who just who thinks Squid Girl is an alien? Like what the weeb? I mean, she came from the sea. Like I mean, I mean, why would you think she's an alien? I know it has those weird long tentacles, but yeah. I mean, uh, you, uh, you you can watch that one, but yeah. I, I'm just trying to make some topic and stuff. So yeah. All right, there's the last one. I decided to get them get this one last. It's Gizmo Duck's helmet. Oh, if I didn't know better, I'd swear Fenton actually gets smarter when he wears this thing. Uh, maybe I'm a wee bit too hard on the lad. Now that I've got all three parts, I can head back to Fenton and Gyro. Huh, I hope it's not too late. Alright, let's go. I mean, I'm... Yeah, I'm very impressed with Alan Young's last time he voiced uh, Scrooge McDuck. So, r rest in peace. So, yeah. Yeah, he, he was able to voice all the lines, like, no problem, despite his old age, so. 
So, yeah. All right, then. Let's go. Now, let's keep on going. Yeah, we're gonna go right. Hmm. Let's keep on going. All right, there it is. Okay, uh, do we... Oh, you just jump on there? Uh, no, you don't... Uh, you have to actually go back. I forgot. I forgot. This is not like the original game. This is not like the original game. I, I forgot. I definitely forgot. Okay, that was dumb. I didn't even see myself falling down there. All right. At least I'll leave you back right there. So, I think this is my fourth death. I mean, yeah. Hey, can you stop following me? All right, we're going back. We're going back. We're going back. Yeah, we're going all the way back to see Gizmo and uh, Linton. We're in luck. I managed to find all of Gizmo Duck's suit. <laughs> oh boy! Now we could blast into the treasure vault. Just a moment, Fenton. <clears throat> Gyro, I uh. I think I left my favorite two-dollar bill under the back seat. <laughs> Would you mind getting it for me? Sure thing, Mr. McDuck. Gee, boss, why'd you send Gyro back onto the ship? So he doesn't find out you're Gizmo Duck when you put on that suit, you dunderhead. But there are only three of us here, sir. Won't he figure it out anyway when Gizmo Duck appears and I've mysteriously vanished? I wouldn't worry about that. Gyro may be a brilliant inventor, but his deductive reasoning skills are about as good as yours. Oh! Hey! Would you just get on with it? Say your secret code word and activate that confounded contraption. Code word? Gee, I can't remember it. Oh, blather and blather, Skite, I'm useless. I mean, I'm useful to the extreme. Point me toward the offending blockade, so that I might deal justice upon it! Cut the dramatics, would you, and follow me. Mr. McDuck? Fenton? Gizmo Duck? Huh. They're gone. And all I could find was this two million dollar bill. Oh well, back under the seat it goes. Oh my gosh. He just... Alright. So, Gizmo Duck is gonna support. Alright, destroy those squid-like aliens. I mean, yeah. Are they actually squid-like? I don't know. Or maybe the... Maybe you see the one from the that movie, Paul. I don't know. Don't check it! No! Keep going, keep going! I mean, I don't... Or maybe... Oh, no. Please don't be a xenomorph. That would be terrifying. I mean, I never watch many horror movies. So, I mean, I mean, yeah. Okay, go. Okay. Okay. No. All right, let's just go. All right, just keep going. All right, we're almost there. There we go. This is the place. Gyro's calculation said the green cheese of longevity lies just beyond this door. Step aside, citizen, whilst I blast the door asunder! How was that, Mr. Mc... I mean, oh, the path is clear, good sir! Good work, Gizmoduck. No? Oh, no! Ah! Flintheart Glumgold, what are you doing here, you pernicious pilferer? Why, same as you, Scroogey. Trying to corner a new segment of the dairy market. <laughs> Why, you... How did you find out about the green cheese? Wouldn't you like to know? <laughs> but thanks for saving me the trouble of blasting through that door on my own. I'll stop him, Mr. McGuck! Halt, evildoer! No, Gizmoduck. I need you to help me deal with the... Uh... Beagle Boys. Bah! I... Okay, so... So, he's also not breathing, so... Did they... Did... Did... Did Glomgo and all the Beagle Boys stole the... The gummy... The... The chewed gum... The chewed space... Uh, gum from... 
Giz uh, Gizmo as well. Oh, man, uh, uh, the Gyro as well, so... Like, okay. Now there's... Like, they seem breathing just fine. Like, I don't get it. But let's just keep going. Keep going. Alright, let's go hit him like this and go down. Anything secrets? Yeah, we're... Mm, let's see. Hmm. Anything else? I'm gonna get my uh, secret money. Hmm. Nope. Uh, I was... I thought there would be something there. But yeah. Okay, they respawn. Oh, anything? Oh, oh, ice cream! Who's screaming for ice cream? I don't know why they're... I don't know if... I mean... Dang it, that was dumb. Okay, I don't think I don't think the I don't think they'll respond. So, okay, it does respond. Okay, but the chest doesn't even respond. What the weeb? <sighs> All right, is that how this game? <laughs> All right then. All right, let's go. Now let's see. Got those gems. Yeah. Three minute hit. <laughs> Dude, join some ducktails. <laughs> Alright, I'm not singing that song. I heard someone got copyright for singing that, so I'm just gonna hear the moon song. <laughs> okay, there's something up there. Okay, you, yeah, you can actually get up there. I was concerned that you can't get up there without. Okay, give me more height, but. No, we're fine. And more heart! Yeah! Let's get more hearts. Now let's see, we're gonna go down. Mm, we're almost there. And anything else? Um, okay, oh, let's go down. Now let's see. Anything up there? And more, more ice cream. I don't know where the ice cream is coming from. It's Hmm, could there be, uh, maybe it tastes like alien ice cream, I don't know. I mean, I don't even want to think about it. It's not a greenish, but... Is it possible? Never know. Or maybe Martian? Hope I don't encounter Marvin. Let's go. Mirth and be merry. I made it here first. No, not the cheese. Anything but that. Great Scott! I thought that stuff was supposed to be an anti-aging culture, not an instant growth fungus. All right, we got this rat. Okay, oh my gosh. Okay, he's gonna go really fast. No, oh, dang it! Oh. All right. Oh my gosh, he's okay. He's going super fast. Oh my gosh, what's going on? Yeah, you can't. You can't. I don't think you can pogo jump on him. Yeah, I mean, he's too fast. All right, pogo jump. Ouch! Yeah, I'm not getting wrecked by that rat. Ah, oh, rat! I got hit. <laughs> Get it? Okay, okay, let's keep going. All right, all right. I'm not gonna get hit. No, you weep. Eh? Yeah, okay, okay. Go, 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 go. Ah. Okay, okay, I, I was concerned that maybe if you're too fast. Okay, you're super fast. I couldn't even react in time. This is it? Okay, not yet. He's running so fast! So trying to be like Sonic? I don't know. Or maybe be fast like that rat from that underrated Super Nintendo game. You probably don't know who I'm, what I'm talking about. I mean, I'll show the footage right there. Or probably not. If I, I probably forget. All right, down goes that rat. And the cheese is back. Giant moon rat or no giant moon rat, nothing's gonna keep this duck from that green cheese and all the green it's gonna make me. <laughs> Thank <laughs> you.